Hey guys, myself Rakesh and today we are going to check how can you extract data from a zip folder or how can you unzip a file in UiPath. So in the previous video you have seen how to use the zip file, how do you zip a file and now you will see how to unzip a file. So for that I have a folder wherein I have kept a couple of PDFs, you can keep any kind of a file notepad or any any kind of a text file or excel file whatever you have so in this folder let me first of all make it a zip okay so how to make it a zip using uipath i have shown in the previous video now in this one there is a zipped file and if there is a zip file if you have to extract data from a zip file what to do for this you have a straightforward activity extract or unzip file and this activity is part of uipath.system.activities that means you should have uipath.system.activities package if you have it you should be able to find this specific activity all right now with this one and also mind the version of uh, UiPath system dot activity. So right now I have 21.10.4. Okay, so I'm not sure in which version they have released this activity, uh, but generally nowadays you will find this activity with the updated package. Now let's see how to use it. There are a couple of options here extract to dedicated folder, what is the use of a destination folder. So let's see that. The first option file to extract which is that file you would like to extract so simply point to the specific file the zip file okay so i'm specifying the zip file here done so once the zip file is specified destination folder where would you like to extract it okay so let's say i want to extract that within the documents i want to extract within a test folder okay click on okay done now there's an option here extract to dedicated folder what is the meaning of this okay so extract it to dedicated folder you should always go to the documentation so in the documentation it is clearly said if it is selected so by default it is selected if selected the contents of the zip files are extracted to a folder with the zip file name so whatever the zip file name is let's say sample pdf files so with the same name it will be extracted that is created in the destination folder so here my destination folder is test so within the test it is going to create a sample pdf file as per the zip file name and within that it is going to extract another folder sample pdf file and then have the file so let's see that practically what does this mean if not selected the contents are extracted directly to the destination folder okay all the contents will be extracted directly to the destination folder you can experiment this let me run it and see the output and also this is the uh, extracted content folder is nothing but it is going to talk about the destination folder it is a variable which is going to store the destination folder information okay so this is completed the run is complete let's go to the test folder and you can see uh, as per the uh, zip file name it has created a folder over here then I see a folder inside that and this folder contains all the files now if I do not check that let me delete the extracted folder now the test folder is blank now let's uncheck this and try to run it so my thought was it is going to only extract all the files but I see there are two two files being created when I'm using it um, let's go here so now you can see in the test folder as per the file name it got created and it has extracted okay it has extracted the data so in the previous option when I used inside the test the sample PDF files got created and then within the sample PDF file another sample PDF file got created I don't know if there is a bug and then I saw the file okay so as per the definition slightly it contradict, contradicts but again you try to experiment that hopefully you will uh, get a proper one for me I think um, you know that's how it worked now what is the use of this one extracted contents folder so if you create a variable over here 
and I will simply give it a name as folder name or folder info I'll say and this particular variable once created if you go to the variable type it is a directory info so folder info is also there it is directory info so all our extracted file will be set inside this directory test directory so the value of this variable should contain the directory details for example if I type folder info and run it what is the output the output will be of the directory which is test okay I'm going to show you that so these are very useful activities generally in a project we need uh, to zip it unzip it and all those activities so this will be very very helpful okay so you saw that output right uh, I did not specify let me run it again Okay, you can see it has got the details of the destination folder what we have specified here in the destination folder field. Alright, so hopefully, um, I know this is a small video, but again, hopefully um, you will be able to utilize these activities in your upcoming projects. So thank you guys. Have a nice day and we are going to meet in our next video. Bye-bye.